Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In our previous video, we completed question number 1, A, B, C and D. Today we are going to start from E onwards. So the question is, add the following fractions using Brahmagupta's method. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. All different denominators. 4, 3, 5. So the first step is to find the smallest common multiple. So multiply 4 into 3 into 5. 4 3s are 12, 12 5s are 60. So now we need to convert 4, 3 and 5 to 60. First we will take 3 by 4. So now what number do I multiply here? How do I find out? Hide 4. What do you get? 3 into 5, 15. So 4 into 15. Numerator also you will multiply by 15. 3 into 15 is 45. 4 into 15 is 60. So now 3 by 4 has become 45 by 60. Next one is 1 by 3. What number do I multiply with 3? So again same rule. Hide 3 here. 4 and 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Multiply in the numerator also. You would get 20 divided by 60 okay now 1 over 5 1 upon 5 same way you will find out the number hide 5 so 4 into 3 12 5 into 12 1 into 12 1 into 12 is 12 5 into 12 is 60 now we need to add these numbers these fractions we are going to add so let us write here 45 by 60 plus 12 by 60 plus 20 by 60. Keep the denominators as it is. Add up the numerators. 45 plus 20 is 65. 65 plus 12 is 77. So that would be 77 divided by 60. This is your answer. If you want, you can convert it to a mixed number. How do we do that? 77 divided by 60. 60 ones are 60. So that would be 7, 1, 70. So we can also write this answer as 1. You take this number first. Second you will take this number. The remainder 17 over 60. So this could be your answer. Or this one. Okay. Moving on to the next one. 2 by 3 plus 4 by 5. Different denominators. So we need to find the smallest common multiple. That would be 3 into 5. 3 5s are 15. So we need to convert. We need to change this denominator to 15. Same way we will do it. First take 2 upon 3. Multiply by 5. 2 5s are 10. 3 5s are 15. Okay. Now 4 by 5. So 4 upon 5, 4 multiplied by 3, 5 multiplied by 3, 12 by 15. So now we are going to add 10 by 15 and 12 by 15 because we got the same denominators. Add up the numerators and keep the denominator as it is. 10 plus 12 upon 15. 22 upon 15. So this is your answer as an improper fraction. If you want you can write it as a mixed number. 22 divided by 15. 15 ones are 15. 22 minus 15 is 7. So we write this number first which is 1 the quotient, the remainder and 15 the divisor. This is how we write the mixed number. So your answer could be this as well. This one or this one. Next one is 4 by 5 plus 2 by 3. Now see, F was 2, 2 by 3 plus 4 by 5. So we are going to get the same answer because they have just written 4 by 5 first and 2 by 3 second. So the answer would be again 1 and 7 by 15. And the same way you need to solve. First you find out the equivalent fraction of this. Second this. And then you add it up. So same question. It's like how 2 plus 3 
they have given and then again they have given 3 plus 2 it's something like this okay so you should know this because we have done f so g should be easy for you moving on to h which is 3 upon 5 plus 5 upon 8 different denominators so find out the smallest common multiple by multiplying 5 and 8 which is 40 5 into 8 is 40 so now 3 by 5 we will multiply by 8 this would become 24 by uh, 40 and 5 over 8 multiply 5 upon 8 by 5 5 5 is a 25 8 5 is a 40 so now we need to add these two fractions okay 24 upon 40 plus 25 upon 40 24 plus 25 is 49 upon 40 so this is your answer and again you can convert it to a mixed number when you do that you would get 1 9 upon 40 by now you must know how to convert improper fraction to a mixed number okay next one is 9 upon 2 plus 5 upon 4 two different denominators however 4 is a multiple of 2 so the least common multiple would be 4 or the common denominator would be 4 we just need to change this fraction we don't need to do anything to this so 9 by 2 multiply by 2 both numerator and denominator 9 to the 18 2 to the 4 and 5 by 4 would remain as 5 by 4 so now add 18 by 4 plus 5 upon 4 18 plus 5 is 23 23 upon 4 convert it to a mixed number 23 4 into 5 is 20 subtract 3 so we write this number first which is 5 then the remainder and then the divisor so this is your answer or this could be your answer it depends how your teacher wants it if your teacher says okay stop here you can stop here or you can convert it to a mixed number well that was question number i in the next video we will be solving the rest of it four are left and that we will be doing in our next video